This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create this simple abstract style logo using Inkscape. And at any point in this tutorial you could look down at the bottom left hand side of my screen to see which mouse clicks and keystrokes I'm using. So we'll minimize this and get started. The first thing we'll do in Inkscape is go to View and make sure that is set to Custom. And then we'll zoom in at 100% one-to-one -one right there. We're going to open up our um, Align and Distribute menu with this button up top. Make sure we have Last Selected chosen from the drop-down. And then we'll open up the Edit Objects, Colors, Gradients, and Stroke menu. So the first thing we're going to do is create a circle. So let's click on the Circles and Ellipses tool. And we'll hold Control and Shift in the keyboard and click and drag to create a perfectly round circle like that. And once we've done that, we can go over to the Select tool and we could take the opacity of this and drop this down about in half. And I'm going to right click this circle and go to duplicate. And I'll turn that duplicated copy red. And then I'll right click that red copy and duplicate that again. And we'll take that duplicated copy and turn that blue. And then I'm going to hold control on my keyboard and just click and drag this blue circle over to the right about that much. We want to have about that much space sticking out of the red circle beneath it. And once you have it positioned there, let's hold shift in the keyboard and click on the red circle so we have them both selected. And we'll go to Path, Difference. And then we can right click this and go to Duplicate. And I'm going to turn that blue. And I'll flip that horizontally with this button over here that says Flip Selected Objects Horizontally. And then hold shift in the keyboard and click on that black circle and come over to the Align panel and click on the button that says Align Right Sides. Just like that. So let's click off of that to deselect everything. And I'll click on this uh, blue crescent right here. We'll right click that, go to Duplicate. Uh, I'm going to make that copy green. And then I'll come up here to this button that says Rotate Selection 90 degrees counterclockwise. And I'll click on that. And hold Shift in the keyboard and click on the black circle. We're going to center that on the vertical axis and then align the top edges. And then hold shift and click on that black circle again to deselect it so we just have this green crescent selected. And I'm going to right click that green shape and go to duplicate. And we'll turn this one yellow. We'll flip that vertically with this button up top, flip selected objects vertically. And then hold shift and click on the black circle and align the bottom edges. So we have our four shapes like that. Now we can click off of the graphic to deselect everything. And let's take this black circle over here in the middle and just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. So what we're going to do next is we're going to click on this red shape and then right click it and go to duplicate. And then hold shift and click on the yellow shape so we have them both selected and go to path difference. And what that did was that took away that segment that was bleeding into the red shape. And what I'm going to do now is, with that yellow shape now selected, I'm going to go to Path, Break Apart. And what happened was, it broke up a bunch of different little fragments. Let me show you. I'm going to hold Shift and click on that yellow shape to deselect it. And you're going to see we have things selected here, but they're not quite visible on the screen. I'm going to hold Control and Shift and scale this out to show you. You see these little fragments and bits over here? That's um, somewhat of a glitch from Inkscape. And if you let that, if you let those things sit around, you run into glitches and memory problems and whatnot. So I'm just, with those selected, I'm just going to press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. And then I'm going to take this uh, yellow shape and right click that and go to duplicate. And hold shift, click on the blue shape, and then go to path, difference, and then path, break apart. And again, I'm going to hold shift and click on that blue shape right there to deselect it. And we're going to have this piece right here selected that we don't want and have all these little fragments, these little mess over here. I'm just going to press delete on the keyboard to get rid of all that. And then I'll take this blue shape, right click that, go to duplicate, hold shift, click on the green shape, and go to path, difference, and then path, break apart. And then hold shift and click on the green shape. What went wrong there? Path, break apart. Must have forgot to click it. And there we go. You know what? Let me back up a little bit. I seem to have run into an error. So I'm going to take that, hold shift, click on the green shape, go to path, difference. 
and then go to path break apart oh you know what I clicked the wrong button let me undo that combine path break apart okay there we go so I'm gonna hold shift and click on that green shape sorry about that uh, just press delete on the keyboard get rid of all that and then we'll finally we'll take this green shape right click that go to duplicate hold shift click on the red shape and go to path difference and then path break apart and then hold shift click on this red shape to deselect it and then press delete for everything else that's left selected so let me press one on the keyboard and zoom back out uh, I'm gonna click and drag over all of this right here and bring the opacity of it all the way up so we have the framework for what we're about to work with and what we're gonna do next is color all of this in so let's click off of that to deselect it and I'm gonna click on uh, this yellow object right here and I'm gonna give that a linear gradient with this tool linear gradient press G on the keyboard to get the gradient tool uh, I'm gonna click on this stop right here bring the opacity all the way up and then I'll click on this stop and I'm gonna, under the HSL tab I'm gonna take this H column and slide that over to the left to make that red and then I'll put this red stop right here at the edge of that graphic and I'll put this yellow stop up here towards the edge of that graphic and then I'll go back to the select tool let's click on this uh, blue shape right here uh, I'm gonna go down to the color picker down here and I'm gonna choose a like a light aqua shade of blue and I'm gonna give that a linear gradient press G on the keyboard to get the gradient tool I'll click on this stop to the right bring the, the opacity of that all the way up and then I'll come over to the um, the H column and I'll slide this to the right a little bit to make that more bluish and then I'll take the L column and slide that to the left to darken that up and I'll take this dark shade and put it over here towards this edge and I'll take this light shade and put this up here towards that edge and then what I'm gonna do is um, let's click on this red shape right here and let's make this um, let's make this uh, yellow like we did for the previous one and we'll give that a linear gradient and click on this stop bring the opacity all the way up and then take the the H column and slide this over into the green to make that green maybe like an emerald shade like that and then I'm gonna take this dark green stop and put this down here and I'll take this lighter this yellowish shade and put that up there like that and then I'm gonna click on this green shape and I'll give that a linear gradient and go to the drop down and just choose that red to yellow gradient we already used previously and then I'll take the the, uh, the red shade put it towards this edge and take the yellow shade and put it towards that edge okay you know what uh, I made a mistake with this green shape right here let's click on that green shape we want this darker we want the green shade towards this edge and the yellow shade towards this edge okay so let's go to the select tool and let's click on this object up top here this little uh, yellow to red gradient and we'll right click that and go to duplicate and I'm gonna turn this black I'm gonna come down to the color picker and turn this uh, black and bring the opacity down about in half and then I'm gonna turn on the snap to cusp nodes up top Just turn that button on and click on this a second time to get our rotation handles and once we do that a little crosshair should appear I'm gonna take that crosshair and snap it onto the corner of that graphic right there and then I'll take these corner arrows and just rotate this around about that much and then I'll click this again to get back to the scaling handles and I'm gonna to want to scale this thing up I'm gonna hold control on the keyboard and scale this up until this corner is exceeding the edge of the red right here we don't want this corner inside of that red we want it going outside of the red like that so just like that that's pretty good I'll take this shape right here this yellow red gradient shape right click that go to duplicate hold shift and click on uh, the black shape and go to path intersection and then I'm gonna turn that white and give that a linear gradient as well and press G on the keyboard to get the gradient tool I'm gonna to take this transparent stop and put this up here towards this edge and I'll take this white stop and put this down here and let me go back to the select tool and bring the opacity of that up a little bit so we can see it 
And we're going to do the same thing to the rest of these shapes. So let's click on this blue shape right here. Let me zoom out a little bit. Right click that, go to duplicate. Glitching here a little bit, you'll have to excuse me. We'll right click that and go to duplicate and turn that copy black. Bring the opacity down about in half. Click it a second time to get the rotation handles, and it'll take this uh, little crosshair and snap that into the corner. And I'll rotate this around about this much. And again, we want this corner going outside of the edge of the blue right there. So I'll click this again to get the scaling handles and hold control. And just click and drag this up like that. And let me click it again to get back to the rotation handles. I'm just going to rotate this back around a little bit like that. Then we can click on the blue shape, right click that, duplicate, hold shift, click on the black shape, and go to path, intersection. Turn that white, give that a linear gradient, and press G on the keyboard to get the gradient tool. We're going to put the white stop up here in this corner, and take the transparent stop and put this over here. And I'll go back to the select tool, bring the opacity of this up a little bit. And let's do the same thing to this shape right here. We'll right click that, go to duplicate, uh, come down to the color picker, make that black, bring the opacity down about in half, and we'll click this a second time to get our rotation handles and we'll take the crosshair and put it into that corner right there. And then just rotate this thing around about that much. Click it again to get back to the scaling handles and I'm gonna hold control and grab this arrow and scale this up a little bit. So that corner is exceeding the red shape right there. Let me click it again to get back to the rotation handles and I'll just rotate this around a little bit. And then I'll click on this yellow red shape right here, right click that, go to duplicate, hold shift and click on the black shape and go to path, intersection. We'll make that white, bring the opacity of it all the way up and give that a linear gradient. We can press G on the keyboard to get the gradient tool. I'm going to put the white stop in this corner right here and then put the transparent stop up towards this edge. And then finally we'll have to do this one more time. Go to the select tool, click from the green shape, right click that, go to duplicate, turn that black, bring the opacity down in half, click it a second time to get the rotation handles. I'm going to put this crosshair in the corner and rotate this around about that much. Click it again to get the scaling handles, hold control, click and drag this up until that corner, oh, you know what, I'm going to want to use this corner up here. Scale that up until that corner exceeds the green shape. Click it again to get the rotation handle, and I'm just going to rotate this around just a little bit. Then I'll click on the green shape, right click, duplicate, hold shift, click on the black shape, and go to path, intersection. Make that white. Uh, give that a linear gradient, press G on the keyboard for the gradient tool, put the white stop down here in the corner, and put the lighter stop up here towards the edge. I'll go back to the select tool, and I might just bring the opacity of that up a little bit. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then click off of it to deselect everything. So the one last final step we have to do is give this a little bit of a shadow in each of the corners so it looks like each shape is overlapping the shape beneath it. So. How I'm going to do that is, let's click on this shape up top here, this yellow red shape. We'll right click that and go to duplicate. Turn that black, bring the opacity down. Uh, click on it again to get the rotation handles. And again, we're going to take the crosshair and put it in the corner. And rotate this around about that much. Maybe about this much right here. And then click on the green shape. We'll right click that, go to duplicate. Hold shift, click on the black shape and go to path, intersection. And that's created somewhat of like a shadow. And we're gonna do that for each one. So um, let's click on the green shape, right click that, duplicate, turn it black, bring the opacity down, click it a second time to get the rotation handles and take the crosshair and put it in the corner there and rotate this around until it's going into the red shape like that maybe about that much. Click on the, um, the red yellow shape, right click that, duplicate, 
hold shift, click on the black shape, and go to path intersection. We'll do the same thing. Let's click on this yellow to red shape, right click that, duplicate, turn that black, bring the opacity down, click it a second time to get the rotation handles and put the crosshair in the corner. Rotate it around so it goes into the blue shape like that. Then click on the blue shape, right click, duplicate, hold shift and click on the black shape and go to path intersection. And then just one more time we have to do this. So click on the blue shape, right click, duplicate, turn that black, bring the opacity down, click it a second time to get the rotation handles and take the crosshair and put it in the corner right there and rotate this around until it exceeds into the red shape and we'll click on the red sh the uh, the yellow to red shape we'll right click that and go to duplicate hold shift and click on that shape and go to path intersection and i'm going to press 1 on the keyboard to zoom back out I'm going to turn off the snap to pass the snap to custom nodes because we're done with that. And we can just click and drag over this whole thing and group it together. And as you can see, we're finished. We've created our little abstract circle logo using Inkscape. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching.